hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm so happy that you guys are all here today I'm gonna be sharing some tips that have helped me in my own personal life to learn to love cleaning I know I know the L word is a strong word when spoken about cleaning but I promise you these tips have really helped me and I want to share them with you guys just in case you find even one or two tips that could help you make this process a little easier now cleaning does not come natural to me so I had to kind of train myself to learn to love it so I'm gonna go through these tips they're not in any particular order so I hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell and let's get started with the video So the first tip I have for you guys is to learn what times during the day you are the most productive and schedule your heavier cleaning during that time. So for me personally, I am a morning person. So once I'm up and awake, I like to go ahead and get as much cleaning done as quickly as I can because I know that's when I have the most amount of energy. I'm opposite in the evening. So my evening routine is very light and easy and quick because I know that's when I have the least amount of energy. So it might be total opposite for you. You might be a night owl and at night is when you thrive and when you want to clean the house and that is perfectly fine there is no specific rule that says that you have to do it at a certain time just schedule your heaviest cleaning when you're more productive and your lighter cleaning when you're least productive tip number two is to find the right tool for the job so if you don't have the right tool sometimes that one little task could take twice as long than it would have taken if you had the proper tool so I recently discovered these little razors at Dollar Tree and they come with a little base so you don't have to be scared that you're gonna cut yourself and I use it to clean inside my oven on those hard burn spots that are just so hard to scrub and this thing works so well so that one task that I just dreaded doing now I don't dread it so much because I know I'm gonna have that right tool that's going to clean the oven in no time so my third tip is to find the right method of cleaning for you and the current season of life that you're in what I mean by this is that whether you prefer or have the time to do a little bit of cleaning each day that way it doesn't pile up at the end of the week or whether you prefer to do batch cleaning and a little example I have for you guys I used to work outside the home full-time and it did require a lot of travel so by the time I got home I, it was already late and I had to take care of the girls and make dinner and I really did didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of cleaning I would just tidy up a little bit here and there but my main cleaning I did it uh, on Saturdays and I did it as a batch cleaning I got everything done that day at that time in that season in life that I was in that was what I needed to do and it worked well for me but now I'm a housewife and a stay-at-home mom and I have more flexibility in my schedule so I could do a little bit of cleaning each day so things don't accumulate and once a weekend comes around I really don't need to do a whole lot of cleaning at all but once Monday arrives then it's time to get back on my routine so just find the right method that works for you for your current season of life and don't think that just because you're doing it different than anybody else is wrong it's not wrong it's just your way and your way is the best way so tip number four is my favorite tip of all and it is to have home decor that you love so even if the room is completely dirty you have already that vision in your head of what the room looks like when it's completely clean and all your pretty decor and pretty things that make you happy are displayed and that's going to give you a motivation to get that room in tip top shape now don't twist my words and think that you have to go out and buy decor to learn to love cleaning not at all so things that used to be in one room give them new life in a new room also thrifting is a great place to find cheap home decor so tip number five is to set the mood with smells so you can use great smelling candles you could diffuse your favorite essential oils and you could definitely also use your cleaning products tip number six is really important because it works with your mind and your heart and this is to practice gratitude be grateful for the home that you have even if it's not your dream home or the home that you hope to be in a few years be grateful that you have a home to live in what really helps me to be grateful is knowing that if my family was in here yes my house would be spotless but what's the point being grateful will turn any house into a home tip number seven is to make it fun by listening to music audiobooks uh, podcasts and of course youtube cleaning videos there's a lot of them so for my next tip tip number eight if you're a planner if you like knowing in advance what you need to do and when you need to do it I recommend creating a cleaning routine that way you won't miss anything and every day as you go and do your cleaning routine it'll become almost like second nature so it'll take less and less and less time 
But if you're a go with the flow kind of person or your schedule is really unpredictable, then I just recommend you doing a list every day of the things that you need to get done that day and just check them off as you're done. And this method will also help if you're a person who kind of gets bored just cleaning the same things over and over again. That way every day you'll have a new list, a new thing to do, and you won't get as bored. And my very last tip, tip number nine, is to delegate. Work smarter, not harder. What I mean by this is to delegate some of those tasks that you just cannot stand doing. So I recently started doing this with the girls and I have no idea why I didn't do this sooner, but some of those chores that I don't like doing, they now get to do. Like emptying out the dishwasher, putting away the laundry, refilling the toilet paper, shredding paper. And some of the things that my husband does that I don't like doing are taking out the trash and also taking out the recycling. So even though that does not cover my whole cleaning routine, them doing that is a huge help because those will be the tasks that I would normally put off and off and now they get done and not by me. All right guys, so those are all the tips I have for you today to help you learn to like or love cleaning. I hope you found this video helpful and just know that at some point we all lack that motivation to get our house cleaned, especially when we're feeling overwhelmed. And that's why we look to cleaning videos because they inspire us and motivate us. So if your house is not where you want it to be, don't worry about it, give yourself some grace and just work towards it with these tips. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.